Welcome back to another episode of the Experts in Fire podcast. I'm your host, Mike Venard, and with me today is Randy Mowry. Today's episode is The Therapeutic Benefits of Fire. Let's get into it. Hey, Randy, how are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic, Mike. How are you, sir? <laughs> I'm very good. Very good, Randy. Very good. So, Randy, today we are going to talk about the therapeutic benefits of fire. And I got to tell you, so I've always known it. You've probably always known it because we've enjoyed sitting around fires together, right? Yeah, bonfires, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's always been a draw. I'm glad you said that because even... You went through high school. My daughter's in high school, and they're like, hey, can we have a bonfire? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just like, yeah. <laughs> it's really neat, though. Napoleon has been doing a lot of research into the therapeutic benefits of fire, and there, there's a lot of study out there. I think uh, there's a video that they've put out. I was just going to say, yeah, they, they have. They've got a very cool video. Uh, definitely, folks, should check that out. It's on uh, YouTube, I believe. Napoleon Fireplaces. Yeah, Napoleon Fireplaces, and then just uh, go to their YouTube channel. I'm sure you can find it. You know, we we live in a day and an age where they're working hard to raise the level of awareness of anxiety and emotional stresses. And it's real, man. I, I, you and I have watched it for a couple generations now, right? But the reality is... Finding that place of peace, that moment, even in a day of chaos, where you can just go, hold on, peace, is important. And it's really cool what they have discovered just by taking that moment of peace to sit by a fire. It is very interesting, like you, like the, the, the name of this episode, the therapeutic benefit of just sitting by fire. It's amazing. And uh, when I saw that video, I was just like, Holy smokes, this is just amazing. It makes so much sense. Well, and it, what's neat is if you're into doing studies like this, if any of our listeners out there are like, huh, what do you, I mean, what did they, they kind of talk through how they did it, you know, what they did. And they had a control group and they had, you know, then the people who sat around fire, they did the whole thing and uh, super interesting. So what we want to do is just kind of buzz through uh, six of the benefits of just taking some time and sitting around a fire. Yeah. Just a couple small ones would just like really go through them softly, just run through them. Yeah. You know, the first one, relaxation, Mike. Yeah. Relaxing. Just the, the warmth of that gentle crackling sound of the fire. It just it can induce a sense of calmness and relaxation, helping to reduce stress and anxiety. You feel that way? You know, what is it? <laughs> I did. I took a deep breath and everything, <laughs> man. Just I'm picturing the fire. And I have to tell you, this is one of the hardest episodes we've ever done because I'm almost whispering. I know. And that's not normal. No, no. <laughs> Sam's going to be mad at us. She's going to be like, you guys screwed up all the sound settings that we had going. <laughs> right. <laughs> ah, okay, I'm relaxing, Randy. So what's number two? Uh, then you come into your, you know, your your sensory stimulation, You know, watching the flickering flames and the feeling of that warmth can engage the senses, providing a soothing experience and promoting mindfulness. When you feel the heat on your face or your hands, for me, I'd love to put my feet by the fire because it's like cold outside and then you put your feet by the fire and you get that sensory stimulation. The word mindfulness is used here. You do become mindful of what's going on in your body. So now I'm relaxed and I'm mindful. This is a great train we're on. It's a great train, yeah, I know, right? And then, yeah, of course, you you have that social connection. So uh, we talked about it briefly, you know, thinking about bonfires, the Gathering around a fireplace, uh, you know, fire pits, you know, with friends, family. It just, it encourages bonding and conversation. It's fostering that a sense of community and belonging when you're, you know, sitting around a fire. I am with friends right now. I'm, I'm with you. <laughs> you have fire-related questions and we have answers. You can email us your questions at podcast at woodlanddirect.com or give us a call at 833-584-1989. We would love to be able to answer them right here on the Experts in Fire podcast.
All right, where's the train take us next? The train takes us to a uh, mood enhancement. Uh, I'll be the cozy ambiance created by the fireplace. It can uplift you, improve your overall well-being, especially during colder months, you know, at darker evenings. Especially, you know, we're in Michigan, you know, it gets darker earlier. Having that fire just, uh, it just, it just helps with that and keeps us, you know, keeps us in an uplifting, happy mood. Yeah, I I can tell you this one right here. We have a plethora of friends and different age groups, and you know what I mean. We kind of, but the the young families that will come hang out. I'm, I pictured it as soon as you said it, Randy. The moms who are dealing with the kids that. You know, it's always, we've we've had kids ourselves. It's a battle back and forth. You take care of them. You, between mom and dad, right? They. It's funny. They can step away from the fire, handle whatever needs to be handled. And as soon as they sit back down by the fire, their eyes go from the fire and they can lift up to whoever they're going to engage with and they smile. It's like, whatever, kid. You go, go jump at Mike and Jen's house. Do, you know, fall off of whatever. I don't care. I am totally here right now yes. at this fire. I, I'm picturing it. I, I've got three friends that I'm thinking of immediately that I've had that experience with. That is cool. That is cool. Definitely mood enhanced. All right, train, take us to number five. Where's the, What's number five? So this one is like symbol, symbolism. Just because fire has a symbolic um, significance, in many cultures, it could be associated with uh, renewal, transformation, purification, uh, adding a spiritual dimension to the experience. Um, so fire is used in all these different uh, applications. Yeah, I, I like it. I, I mean, for me, the symbolism would be friends and family. Because when you say that, I think of uh, traditional things that would go on around a fire. I also, one of my friends, uh, she worked for me for a while, was Native American and she used to walk me through the different meanings behind the dances that they did around fire. She used to she used to attend different things to uh, as, as a child uh, to learn the different dances and the different moves. So yeah, there's a lot that goes on around fire, and I think every person associates differently. You know that symbolism is going to be something that's different. And like you said, some some families, um, some cultures of that might have been part of not only how they grew up, but it was significant for them in their culture of how they used fire. So yeah, so it's yeah, I think that's just it's real important to think about as well. I, I love it because it brings you back to a it's it's not just something that's going on, and that's important. When we talk about therapeutic benefits, you know, you'll hear a lot in the discussions that are being had about mental health, being present in the moment. And you can, you know, you can have a fire in the backyard and it's just going. But if you really force yourself to be present in that moment, it brings meaning, it brings purpose, it brings value to go, hold on, let me, let me be a part of this right now. And I think that's where that importance of symbolism comes in because now you're going to make that association to say man when i see a fire i want to go sit by it with a friend or i want to go uh stand around it and have a party or i just want to go be by myself leave me alone randy yeah because because of the the relaxing stimulating all the sensories in your body it just give that calming effect for you to maybe you need to refocus maybe it's just five or 10 minutes to sit there and, and, and regroup, you know, it just, it's one of those things. It's a real good calming effect of everything, you know, which, which I think takes us, you know, like our last point, just the, the therapeutic reflection of uh, everything, the reflective nature of fire, just encourage the introspection and, and the contemplation, providing the opportunity for personal growth and insight and just relaxing there and just calming your mind, you know, your mind and your body. Uh, my, my wife and I did something over the weekend, which is similar to this. And in the studio we were in, it had two fireplaces. And that's what they were for, because the studio was all about calming, just calming your whole body and becoming the kind of one and relaxing the mind. And within the studio, it was, they had two fireplaces going for that to be able to just, you know, focus on the flame, you know, while they were talking. It was very, yeah, it was, it was very rewarding. It was a very relaxing day for sure. It, it's funny that we even started this conversation and immediately 
we calmed ourselves and lowered our voices and just I know did you notice that and it, I didn't plan on doing that either it was just it just <laughs> happened it felt natural yes uh, yeah because anybody that knows me knows that I'm loud <laughs> <laughs> This is true, and anybody who knows me knows the same. Yes, yes. <laughs> I, I love it, Randy. The, the benefits of just being around a fire, I love the example you gave, because it, for me, if I'm at a nice restaurant, a flickering candle is nice, but if I can sit by fire, a fireplace of some sort or a fire pit, whatever, uh, it transforms the mood for me. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Never thought about it until you actually said it. But yes, yeah, I agree 100%. It does change the dynamic. I think of the entire group you're with, or if it's just you and your spouse, or you know, you and a friend, it just changes. It changes that atmosphere. You, it could be loud and crazy going on around you, but it, it just uh, it just brings you, it zeroes you back in while you're there and who you're with. So Jen and I were looking at homes on the water. We're looking to the future. And when we retire in the future, we're probably going to live on some body of water. And what was neat was you have these long docks and then they tee at the end. And, you know, one neighbor has one side, the other neighbor has the other side. But right in the middle where the dock teed, a lot of times they would have chairs and a fire pit. And I remember standing there as we were looking at homes going, wow. You're on the water. You can hear the splash of the water, the waves, you know, the whole thing. But you add that element of fire and it just takes it up a notch. You know, it, it's like now I have the relaxation of the water. I have the calming of the fire. I have all the different pieces. So if you really stop and think about how we're driven and motivated as a culture here in the States, it all wraps around our phones, some kind of social media, uh, whether that's uh, for folks who are looking at serious information or those who are just watching the goofiness that social media can be, which both are very entertaining. If you stop for just a minute and realize how much your brain is firing and how much it needs to rest, just like your body. Your body, ha you can only do so much. You know, you and I have both worked out a lot in our lives, right? And our bodies have finally said, no, you know, our shoulders, our backs, whatever, are going, you, you've abused me too much. So, but we both understand that when you work out and you exercise, you need to allow your body the opportunity to rest. And you don't, and I want to be careful to state this well. You're not resting by sitting on the couch and scrolling through social media. You're forcing your brain to continue to work. But I tell you what, if you just put those things down, turn the TV off and turn a fire on, you'll be shocked at how amazing your mind is. And in a relaxed state, how good a rest you get. Absolutely agree. So now I whisper, Randy, overall. Sitting around a fire offers a multi-sensory experience that promotes relaxation, social connection, and emotional well-being. And I read that straight off of the script right there. <laughs> well said, Mike. Because that's what I was trying to say when I was saying all that other stuff. It's just I use a lot more words. <laughs> well said. Well said. I really, I like this kind of segment because we're always talking about, you know, professional things and how to make fire. But this, this piece right here, if you're a pro listening to uh, Randy and I be goofy here, we're not trying to be goofy as much as we're trying to really sell a point. When you are talking to your clients about fire, there's more than just, yeah, you can click the button and then it turns on and then you do this and then A, a B, C, D, and we deal with it. We... We'll go to the uh, builder show or you know, or any other show that we go to where we catch our sales reps talking about product. And that isn't what people are going after when they're talking about having fire, whether it's in their home or in their backyard. They're going after this experience right here. So if you keep that in mind while you're out pitching the work or out you know, trying to get a sense of what people are trying to accomplish you'll really get a good feeling for, hold on, let me show you some information on how calming fire is for you and figure out how to fit it into that project. 
It is. They're going to get the questions about fire and you are right on point. These are the things that we want to be able to express the folks of why that fireplace is. And like you said, not just to push a button, but use it for the experience that uh, so many of us grew up experience, experiencing around fire. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Randy, thank you so much for putting me into a very relaxed mood here. I think I'm going to go in the other room and flip on my fireplace. No, I'm not. It's it's going to be really warm today, abnormally warm. <laughs> but I appreciate you, brother. Thank you so much for the time you put into this, man. I, I Thank you. I'm so thankful for you and what you do for this podcast. My pleasure, everybody. Have a wonderful, relaxing day and get behind your fire. And be relaxed be relaxed out there folks and if you ever want to join us or talk through some experiences that you have feel free reach out and randy and i will attack those and uh, actually have a good time discussing them so thanks everyone for listening goodbye bye-bye now bye-bye bye-bye